Hi, I'm Eric Shanks and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Architect with VMware. And in this video, I'll show you how you can use Application Transformer for VMware Tanzu as part of your app modernization or migration strategy. Now I know from previous experience that one of the most important pieces to a successful migration plan is to understand your application portfolio and especially their dependencies. Moving applications around can have serious impact on their performance and usability, so identifying these dependencies is critical for a smooth migration or modernization effort. Application Transformer is a free tool available for VMware Cloud on AWS customers that can help us in this process. In the demo you're about to see, I'll show you how you can get Application Transformer set up so that you can scan your vCenter inventory and identify your applications, their dependencies, and then at the end, we'll use Application Transformer to convert a virtual machine to a container so that we can run it in our Tanzu Kubernetes cl cluster, which is also included with your VMware Cloud and AWS purchase. Enjoy the demo. First thing we'll do with App Transformer is to add a vCenter. So we're going to give it the vCenter FQDN, and we'll give it a descriptive name so we can remember this later. And then we're going to select one of our credentials that we've already added into App Transformer. And we'll save that. So now we want to connect vRealize Network Insight in association with our vCenter so that we can get that network traffic between our virtual machines and application components. I've done this before in previous demos, so I've got one already logged here. I'm just going to select that, and now we've got vRNI connected with our vCenter. Before we get too far in here, let's take a look at what's actually in vCenter and what we're going to be using. Now you can see in my VMs, I've got a folder here called Hardtop, and I got a list of virtual machines that we're going to use. Now, back in App Transformer, I can scan my entire vCenter, but for this, I'm just going to scan that one specific folder where we've got applications that I actually care about. And for right now, we're just going to do a scan only so we can do each one of these steps individually. So you can see my vCenter scan has completed, and we should have a list of all of our virtual machines now that we're at least in that folder. If we look at our, our virtual machines inventory, you can see that we've got a list of VMs here that were part of our hardtop folder, and there's some additional data about it. But you'll also notice that the last scan column shows not yet introspected, which is what we're going to do now. First, we're going to set some credentials on some of our VMs, because not all VMs have the same credentials. And this is what we use to log in and do our introspections with. You can see that there's a list of credentials here that are stored and saved with each VM. Then we run the introspect, and we can select an optional set of credentials here if like, we're doing a one-off and we want to use a different set of credentials. Or we can leave that blank and just hit submit, and it'll use the default credentials that we've got stored. Introspection will take a little bit of time. We're going to go and look at what components are in those VMs. Then eventually our introspection will complete. Hopefully it's successful or at least partially successful where only some of the VMs maybe got scanned. In our case, all the VMs got scanned with the right credentials. And now we can go look at their individual components. So we select the component screen. You can see we've got a whole list of component names uh, and they're associated with a virtual machine. And you can see that we've got, you know, we found VM tools, we found Python, we, set, we found MySQL. Um, a bunch of stuff here across our VMs. But you also notice that we have an application that's not yet associated. Now you can add your own manually, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate a little bit of traffic first on one of our applications. So we'll log into one of those VMs that we've already discovered and done an introspection on. And we're just gonna make a few calls from the, uh, the web interface here of this, this application so that it's sending some traffic to its MySQL database, right? This application is a Spring Boot application that's using a MySQL backend database um, to store some of its data. So we'll just generate a little bit of traffic here just to show that it's working. Then once we've generated some traffic, vRealize Network Insight should have seen that traffic. So if we do a discover topology on our vCenter again, that basically does some queries to vRealize Network Insight to find out, you know, which VMs are talking to other VMs. Now, once the Discover topology is successfully completed, 
we can go back and look at those components again, and you still see the same components, but now you see an application name. And that was automatically generated. We didn't have to specify an application name. If we look at applications now, you'll see we have one application, and it says it's associated with four components. There's a, there's a field there named number of associated components, and we've set to four. Now what we can do is look at these individual components, and we can see the topology. And the topology is going to show us other things that our application is dependent on. So we see NTP, we see DNS as external services that we need to use. But we're also seeing individual components and these lines that, that are connected between them. Those lines show that there's been some traffic between those components. And we got that through vRealize Network Insight. So now our application, we can see the individual components of that application across VMs. And we can see their dependencies just by looking at their network traffic. So next up, if we take that application, we have to define, you're assuming that we're doing this against a whole portfolio of products. So you've got a whole bunch of applications on-prem. You need to disposition them, like which ones of these are going to be retired, which ones of these are going to be refactored, which ones of these are going to get moved to a different system. We're using a replatform. So we're going to tag this one application that we found as a replatform. Now that application shows up under Analyze. This step can be done where we analyze an individual component so that we can use it for uh, transformation. We can change this virtual machine application that's running Tomcat into a container that's running Tomcat with our existing settings. Right? Maybe we got a whole bunch of applications that are running on virtual machines. We want to containerize one of those. We can do that through this tool without having to go and build our container manually. You'll notice that not all the components are analyzable. We're only able to analyze certain components at the moment, WebLogic and Tomcat being two of those components. But stay tuned for future updates where I'm sure there will be additional components that we'll be able to analyze and convert for you. So we'll do this analysis, and it takes a little bit of time. It does a little bit deeper analysis than just the introspection does. Once the analysis is finished, then we can use this little link here that says promote to transform. And you'll notice that not all of our applications have this, just the ones we've done an uh, the analyze on. If we go to the transform tab and we go to the applications, we can see that our applications there are listed and the components are listed just like we showed. But the one we did analyze on, we can now containerize. Now, before you can use the containerized feature, you got to set up an image registry where you're going to store your containerized images. I've done this ahead of time, but I'm just using Docker Hub. I didn't set anything up specifically for this. And the second part is we have to upload some third-party artifacts. We're going to build a new container based on our virtual machine image, but we want to be able to provide a specific version of, say, Tomcat or your Java runtime so that we can take the code that we've got in our virtual machine and build a brand new container with the Tomcat and JRE in it, App Transformer can drop your WAR file right into that container. Now, let's go ahead and containerize that application. So we'll select these because I've already done the upload process. And then we can click Continue. Here we'll have to identify what the base OS image is, right? We're looking for a Ubuntu base image container. And we're going to pull that down from Docker Hub. Our destination is also going to be Docker Hub, which means when we build this new container, we're going to push it into Docker Hub. And I'm just giving it the, the registry information where this will be stored. I'm going to call it Innkeeper uh, Demo. And then we confirm our user settings. So just a one last look, hit confirm. And the next step is App Transformer is actually going to take that virtual machine. It's going to pull out the Java information that's in there. It's going to build a new container with Tomcat and J uh, JRE in it. And it's going to drop my Java application right into the container. And then it's going to push that container up to Docker Hub. Now, if we were to go to Docker Hub and log into our registry, you'll see I've got an innkeeper. And if I log into that, you'll see I have demo. So here's the image that just got pushed 
through App Transformer, and it's now in Docker Hub. Now, no demo would be complete unless you had the final reveal, so the last thing we need to do is to pull up a command prompt, and let's try and run that image, and I'm using Docker Run, uh, and then the port's 8080, and then I'm gonna pull down the image name. Eventually, you'll start seeing logs here from my application, and we know that it's running. And I can now pull open a web browser and go to localhost port 8080. And my application comes up. It's the same application that was deployed in my virtual machine. I didn't have to do any work to like build a Docker file or uh, some sort of build script. It just did this for me. And all I had to do was provide it the version of Tomcat and the version of JRE, and it was able to pull that in. If you'd like to try this out on your own and you're a VMware Cloud and AWS customer, you can go to the launch pad, log in, and there's a download option right, right there in the launch pad screen for you. You can download the OVA and get to work. Hopefully, after watching that demo, you've got a pretty good idea of how App Transformer can help you with your app modernization or migration efforts. App Transformer can help us understand what virtual machines are running in our environment, the applications that are running in those virtual machines, and any dependencies that those applications might have on each other so that we can make informed decisions about how we do our migrations or our refactoring. If you're a VMware Cloud and AWS customer, you can try this out for free right from the launch pad. Just log in and go to the tools section. Thanks for your time today.